Thank you for tuning in to Deja Vu. This is the reading for Cancer for June 2021. That's June 2021 or whenever you view this video as all of my readings are timeless. So Cancer, we'll go ahead and play the singing bowl for a second just to clear the space. You take a deep breath when you're ready and breathe it out and just relax. Cancer. Let's see what we have going on. I'm doing my new T-bone spread. I probably should make room so you can see it. Let's see. All right, Cancer. So I'm going to get the spread out first. Let's see what it is. Let's see what you have going on. What does Cancer need to know? What does cancer need to know? Angels, ancestors, spirit guides. What does cancer need to know? For June 2021, or whenever they view this video. All right. There we go. Past, present. Hold on. Future. Present energy. Outward influences, inner feelings, outcomes. And then we'll get an advice card. Ha! Huh. Bottom of the deck, we have new beginnings. All right, Cancer. So you have already embarked on some sort of new beginning, whether that be relationship, career, health, personal development, some area on, of your life. You're on a new path, okay? So in the past energy, we have self-reliance this card has been coming out for everybody and i've been shuffling these cards okay don't be afraid to fly solo and that's in your past energy so you already know the dealio okay cancer you're doing your own thing you're not afraid to do you very very good and you're very self-sufficient kudos cancer present energy moving forward don't you worry about a thing. That's what I heard in my head. Don't you worry about a thing, mama or daddy. <laughs> but you are moving forward, okay? And it says, get ready for positive change. Okay, Cancer, y'all been putting in work. You already, you were already self-sufficient. So now you're really about to go to the next level. That's what this looks like to me. You are about to move to the next level. Okay, and you already had your new beginning, you're self-sufficient, and now you're moving forward. So, mm -hmm. future energy, letting go. You're going to be letting go of some more stuff, okay? You're getting lighter and lighter, Cancer. You're just getting lighter and lighter, throwing off all that crap that's not serving you, giving in to this transformation journey, okay? And you're about to flourish. Look at all those butterflies. Look at all that foliage <laughs> you are letting go and leveling up okay cancer this is so good okay so present energy we have legends you are learning from those who inspire you okay so cancer i think some of you are being mentored you might actually be taking some classes i feel like a lot of you have mentors though and that is what is helping to facilitate this level up <laughs> that you are on um this is beautiful and look even more foliage just i see health and abundance peace i see some adventure there like dude Yes, very adventurous. You are on some kind of journey, Cancer. It's, it, it looks really good. It looks mystical. It looks f like fortune. Um, and then in your outer influences, I hear people telling you to cheer up um, and live in the moment. 
Okay, so I don't know, maybe some people you are connected to know about some of the darkness or the hurt in your past and maybe just showing some concern for you because you have been going through a lot of growth and changes. Um, from your end, it looks happy and joyous and and beautiful. From their end, I just see a lot of concern. Um, so some of the people around you may be concerned about you, um, but you know in your inner being uh, that you're fine. You're fine. You have been dealing with some stuff. Definitely been on a healing journey. Okay. But your outer influences basically are telling you to cheer up. Okay. And in your inner feelings, I have memories memories cherish memories of loved ones okay so some of you are connecting with ancestors some of you may have an ancestor altar some of you are just you know remembering the good times you know the times that you maybe used to have with a loved one that has passed on family members friends and that's a good thing. That's a part of healing. You want to remember the good times. Definitely. You want to uphold all of those good memories. Yep. And not not sugarcoat it, you know, because, you know, but you, you want it to be based in, in reality. Uh, but also you don't want to magnify this, the, the, any negativity or magnify the good things and, and remember everything. Uh, that we focus on, we magnify, okay? So you want to make sure you focus on those things that make you feel good, okay? So maybe that's what the the cheer up is coming in at because that's I feel like I was guided to say that, you know, watch where you put your focus. You want to focus on the good stuff because that's what you want to bring about more of, right? And in your outcome energy, we have... The seven deadly sins. Okay. Humanity's destructive traits. So I, I actually see you being s like a light worker. You know, and that, that may be also where some of the heaviness comes from that I was feeling uh, with the uh, cheer up card and the memories card. Uh, it's just dealing with people <laughs> you know the good the bad and the ugly and knowing how to deal with it not just the good because we don't all just get good all the time right so we have to learn how to deal with it you know the only person that you can control is yourself right um, but we can influence others by uh, knowing who we are and standing firm in that and spreading our light and letting our light shine so cancer I, I see you you're doing that look at the rainbows like emanating from her rainbows coming out of her hand so you're throwing all of that stuff off pushing back the darkness with your light look at the butterflies and the, the beauty and the light on your side you're pushing that darkness back cancer you are powerful you are powerful. I actually want to go and look in the book for this one. This is the uh, Mystical Wisdom card deck. Okay, so we're going to go look at the Seven Deadly Sins. And see what it says for that card. <clears throat> I think there's a message in there for you. It says, Welcome to the world of human nature. The seven deadly sins are at the root of all destructive behavior. Greed and other negative traits drive harmful human activity that impacts the quality of life on earth, particularly the environment. It is a lack of concern for the preservation of Mother Earth and all these human destructive, all these humans destructive traits that are leading to the devastation of life on this planet. What the seven deadly sins mean? Sloth, gluttony, lust, greed, wrath, envy, pride. So sloth is laziness, being physically and emotionally inactive. Gluttony overindulges in anything to the point of waste. Lust, an intense desire for physical and sexual gratification. Greed, excessive pursuit of material possessions and power. Wrath, extreme feelings of uncontrollable anger. Envy, discontentment aroused by another's good fortune. And pride, excessive self-love and arrogance. 
So those are the things that you have been pushing back, Cancer, with your own light. All right. Good job, Cancer. That is your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. We're going to go ahead and get in. Oh, we did not get you an advice card, did we? Yeah, we didn't. Let's get an advice card for Cancer. And if it's the trust card, I'm going to trip out because it came out for Taurus and Gemini. And I have shuffled this deck. Okay. But, I mean, it is what it is. Whatever card it comes out is the one you're meant to get. So, let's see. What is your advice, Cancer? Let's see if I can get a popper. And then we'll get an affirmation card. I'll take this one off the top. Growth. Growth. That is your card, Cancer Growth. And it just confirms everything I've been saying anyway. It says, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Yes, Cancer. I see you doing the work. And I see your consciousness and your awareness growing. Very good. And let's get an affirmation card for you. What is your affirmation for the month? Here it is. Cancer, your affirmation is I see clearly and act quickly and my greatest expectations come to pass in a miraculous way. I see clearly and act quickly and my greatest expectations come to pass in a miraculous way. That has been your reading, Cancer. Please remember to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my website, fountainoverflow.com, if you'd like a personal reading. If you are in the metro Atlanta area, you can check me out tomorrow, May 23rd, at the New Talent Psychic Fair from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the Inner Space in Sandy Springs, Georgia. Peace out, y'all.